Okay, I'm going to show the connection to the smart AC valve. These are push connect. You just take the tubing and you just push it all the way in and that is connected. Okay, I want to show these foggers usually come assembled, but they are a two-piece press fit connection. You're not to use glue or cleaner on these, but they do press fit in case you want to take them apart to clean. But to put them back, you just push them on and that is it. Okay, showing the assembly of the fogger with the quick thread into the tubing. You should be able to just push to start and thread it in. It'll grab and bite just like a self-tapping screw until it's all the way on. Now we're gonna show the connection of the fogger tips to the push connect tees that come in the kit. Um, you can just take a short piece of the tubing that you've cut from the main roll um, after we've hooked it to the fogger tip and you just push it in to one of the sides of the push connect T. Same thing on one of the other outlets, whichever way you want it to go, push connect, and that is it. Okay, we're gonna show the hookup of the Smart AC valve to an external faucet. So all you do is just screw on all the way until the washer is snug to get a watertight seal. Okay, we're gonna show the hookup. This is the end of the line coming from the Smart AC valve. We're gonna go into the T. And I'm gonna have two short pieces coming out to configure this to hook the foggers to the ends. Again, you just push and thread those in all the way. Same thing on this one. Push, thread in all the way until it's done. Okay, after hooking up the foggers, we're gonna manually test this kit. So the water is turned on. We're gonna move this lever a half turn until the, fog, the water's now coming on and the foggers are fogging and operating manually. I'll turn it back off into the automatic position. You'll want to locate your 24 volt AC wire that runs from your indoor thermostat out to the outdoor unit. Typically here you can splice into this or open the panel and splice into the relay. After you've ensured turning all power off to the unit and you've located the 24 volt AC wire from the thermostat to the outdoor unit, you can cut and splice into that using the two wires off the solenoid, which are non-determinate to which 24 volt AC wire you use on the thermostat. You'll hook one to one wire and then hook the other to the other.